today i'm going to walk you guys through how i created this cg product in blender as usual you know that my tutorials are quite easy i mean they are easy right yeah so and this one is not going to be any different it's going to be as easy as eating as eating pie yeah so so you know stick around and then let's let's do this let's do this all right so to get started just so things become a lot more easier for you guys i've divided the session into six simple steps so we are going to start with the reference image and tracing the curvature and then we are going to move on to adding some modifiers and, and modeling some extra stuff like the glass in there and then the background and all of that and then on the third uh, step we are going to do a bit of uv unwrapping then we are going to do a bit of label design then we'll move to lighting and materials and then finally we are going to get to the render settings i'm thinking of doing a bit of compositing as well in there but i don't know where to put it so maybe maybe we will do the compositing or maybe not i'm not sure so let's just get started so let's start by clicking on file new then we are going to click on general so i'm just going to click on don't save yeah so as usual you have your default cube your camera in your lamp so we are, we are just going to box select all of them and we are going to press x delete and then i'm going to move to my front view shift a and then we are going to add our reference all right so our reference image reference image so i got the reference image from google so i'm going to link it in the description for you guys so that you are going to if you want to follow along you can also download it and follow along easily all right so this is the reference image i got i'm sure most of you know fun max so yeah so we are going to move on to tracing the curvature so i'm going to add a plane shift a add a plane mesh plane move to the top view and then we are going to tap to go into the edit mode and then press m on the keyboard to merge all the vertices and then we are going to select center all right so now we have only one vertex to work with and at this point we can select the vertex g x move it on the x axis like so and then we are going to just trace one side of the bottle all right so i'm probably going to speed up this side just so we are going to save a bit of time so let me just do that All right, so after tracing the curvature, we can move this back. G, Y, then move this back. So at this point, we are done with tracing the curvature. So we are going to move on, but then we need to hide it somewhere. So just select the, the reference image, then press H on your keyboard to hide it. And then select the curvature that we just created go to the modifiers tab click on add modifier click on generate and i'm going to select the screw modifier now the moment you select the screw modifier you see that the object is already taking shape but then we need to do a bit of tweaking we need to uh, work on our topology but then before that let's add uh, a bevel modifier and then after that let's add a subdivision modifier as well all right so after adding a subdivision modifier you can see that it's already it's already looking nice it's already looking good but then uh the next thing we need to do is that we need to apply our screw modifier but before we apply our screw modifier we need to have a backup we need to have a copy of the bottle just so in case anything happens all right so we are going to uh, press shift d on the keyboard have a duplicate of the bottle and then we can just place it somewhere around our changes somewhere around then press m on the keyboard create a new collection then we can name the collection backup and then our bottle will be in that backup and then we can just click on this eyeball icon so we hide it so we come back to this bottle 
and then now we let's add a screw modifier so when you tap to continue the edit mode but then before that let's go back let's go back first let's undo the screw modifier so before we apply our screw modifier we need to first of all move some of our vertices just so the bevel can work perfectly because at this at this point per se you can see that the bevel isn't really taking shape so you can tweak it a little bit just move this in a bit move this in a bit as well all right so now that we have fixed these sides of the bottle now now what i want us to do is that we i don't think we would need all the vertices we have around here so we are going to dissolve some of them so like say this vertex can go you don't exactly need it all right so that should do it then let's take a look at the top it's like this side also has some mesh issues i don't know why okay so moving it up okay there is an extra vertex in there okay so this should do it i think but then i don't think i want the top to be like this so what i'm going to do is that I'm going to bring this back a bit, extrude, bring it in, and then bring it up like so. Uh, let me just bring it up like so. Extrude again, in. And then extrude again up. <coughs> so let's increase our vertex a bit. And then we're gonna extrude in now. And then extrude downwards. Yeah, so this is what we want. This is what I want. And now to the bottom. I'll fix the bottom later so let me just open it up like so and then we have this done so let's apply our screw modifier so after applying it now let's extrude scale it in bring it up just a little somewhere around here is okay wait how is it moving no i think up yeah and then extrude scale it in like this and then fill it up and then we are going to insert another face and then that should fix it crank up a again and then shade smooth and now we have our bottle now it's left with our cork so the cork is going to be quite easy i'm just going to steal some geometry so with the vertex select mode turned on around here around here you can see we have the vertex select mode we have the edge select mode and then we have the face select mode so i'm going to hold alt and then select any of these vertices then i'm going to shift d on the keyboard right click press p on a keyboard and then choose selection so this ring has now been separated from the model all right so i'm going to tap to go into the edit mode and then i'm going to select all with a extrude like so bring this down a bit extrude set a face a face scale it in no extrude again 
bring it up scale it in <coughs> like so not so much extrude again and uh, somewhere around here should do then we can close it up with the pair then let's select this ring at the bottom fill it up select this ring as well then let's bring it down looks weird like so oh, let me just bring down the bevel Okay, it's okay. Shade smooth. And now we have this. Let me scale this in a bit. Objects, origin, origin to geometry. So S, X, Shift, Z. And then let's scale this in like so that's cool that's cool so always remember to save your files always remember to save your files so fun max tutorial that's just the name i'm going to give to the file save blend file <clears throat> so now we are done with that and then we need to add our glass so shift a mesh and then i'm going to add a cylinder bring my cylinder here scale it down a little and scale it on the z axis like so make it a bit long and then i'm going to place it somewhere around here let's add a plane too then i'm going to place the plane right beneath the bottle somewhere around here should do and scale it up and uh <coughs> just so i can see it from the side view i'm going to give it a solidify modifier so add generate solidify and go to the front view yeah then i'm going to place the cylinder on it like so move it closer tap to go into the edit mode 3 for face select mode select the face x deletes faces and now we are going to give it a bevel modifier all right then let's play around the bevel modifier you don't need it to be too much just around six is okay then give it a solidify modifier okay and then let's duplicate the bevel modifier and bring it down here and for some reason when the bevel goes in it doesn't work sorry when the solidifier goes in the second bevel doesn't work so i'm going to bring the solidifier modifier out instead so bring it out like so all right so after that let's give it a subdivision modifier to just just keep it at two and then shade smooth all right so at this point we have a bottle we have a glass all right so we need a straw i don't i'm not sure if i'm going to model the umbrella though but probably we will there's nothing wrong with that let's just go ahead so shift a let's add uh shift a add a mesh plane and then just bring it somewhere here tab vertex select mode m center and go to the left side uh, oh i think it's the right side rather yeah and then select it and then let's bring it down like so and then let's start extruding things let's just extrude it like so to go outside 
the glass like so yeah let's bring it forward like so and let's place it inside the glass all right and then let's give it a skin modifier Control a let's apply the scale just to be sure and then tap to go into the edit mode select all <coughs> make sure to click mark root to be sure then Control a and then i'm going to scale it down like so and then we are going to give it a subdivision modifier and just so we can get the size of the straw not too big something like this should do so let's just select and mess things around a bit and after that let's tap to go into the object mode back into the object mode apply the skin modifier tap to go into the edit mode again select this face x faces and then now uh, it's deleted and uh, let's delete the other side to x faces deleted <coughs> and now let's give it a solidify modifier just to keep yeah something like this is okay and then let's duplicate the subdivision as well place this one here and uh, so let's increase the solidify bit here or well, probably i should give it a bevel modifier before the subdivision let's see how that works okay that doesn't work all right so let me just keep it like this all right so let's increase the subdivision over here let's place this here <clears throat> And now for the inner part, the ice cream in the glass, we are just going to tap to go into the edit mode, three for face select, select the face, shift D, right click, B, and then separate with selection. So let me just... All right, yeah, select the face. <clears throat> and then what i'm going to do is that i'm going to let me just so you can press the forward slash key just so you can separate your model so let me just extrude it on the z axis like so then just uh, let me go to the extreme mode bring it up a bit and so, yeah somewhere around here i'm just going to Start inserting some faces. So insert here, insert here, insert some faces here, insert, 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 insert. And now, after that, I'm going to uh, delete all of this. And keep the bevel like this. Then I'm going to apply the bevel. All right. And I'm going to move into the sculpting tab. Then I'm going to do a bit of sculpting. All right. <coughs> You're going to do a bit of sculpting. So just using the regular draw brush, just increase the radius a bit, decrease the strength. And then you are going to just raise some parts over here. Uh, just raise some parts so control to raise it and then when you release the control button you i don't know push it down i guess all right so i think i'm fine with this so let's go back to the layout all right and shade smooth <coughs> bring it back here all right so that's cool that should do the job i think we are almost done so we are left with the 
umbrella right yeah so shift a for the umbrella shift a mesh circle go to the top bring it here sorry shift a circle mesh yeah circle and then around here change the vertices to 16 and bring it here tap to go into the edit mode vertex select mode extrude left click and then scale it in like so then somewhere around here we are going to fill it in select the face and then insert another face then select those two and then let's bring this up like so then we can select the inner one and extrude up just a little scale it down just a little and after that we can switch to the edge select mode select the edges in a checker uh, should I say format or checker style just select one after the other one here one not one here one then yeah and then we are going to scale them out just a little I right, saw so. and with the same edges selected shift D right click P selection and we are going to go back to the object mode with them selected we are going to give them um, a skin modifier start to go into the edit mode a mark root <coughs> control a we scale all of them down like so so we have something like this and then we give them a subdivision modifier keep them at two and now we can parent them to this control p keep transform and then we have that and then now for the stand let's just uh select one of the vertices as well shift d bring it here p for selection <laughs> it's obvious i like stealing vertices a lot but you have to pardon me for that so a so select the vertex and go to the front view extrude like so extrude like so like the umbrella vibe you know i don't know if it has to move or something but just keep it like so and then i'm going to give it a skin modifier as well control a control a scale it down scale it real down and then give it a subdivision modifier and then select the handle or whatever you want to call it and then shift select the umbrella itself control p and then let's parent it to that so let's select the umbrella and let's place it here somewhere here like this looks a bit too big so let's get it down yeah so let's place it let's rotate it like so place it here <coughs> font view so let's go to the front view and uh, so rotate it a little, bring it down, rotate down. Alright, so I think this should do. This is okay. Ctrl S scale. <coughs> oh, 
okay i need to rotate some things here and there okay so that should do so at this point we are done with our modeling I think we might have to model some extra stuff that's the background and all of those things and they are quite easy actually so all i did is i just added a mesh like this and then added a selected let me just tab and select one edge shift d right click p selection and then we have that particular edge so tab to go into the edit mode edge select mode selected extrude the edge like this and then um, we are going to give it an array modifier then we are going to increase it at the y factor like so And we are also going to increase it at the, the Z factor, something like this. But then I feel like we should increase the solidify a bit. Yeah. And then let's go to the array. So let me see how this. Alright, so I think we keep the Z factor at 1 and then the Y factor also at 1. And then we can increase the count as well. <coughs> I think we should give it a bevel modifier too. So the bevel should come after the solidifier modifier. Like this and then let's bring it down like so. Not too much, just 0 0.005. Yeah, that should do. So let's take a array modifier again. So I think uh, the Z factor. It's okay, yes, the Y factor. 0. Point. Let's keep it so now eight and C. Yeah, so that should do it. And uh, shift. Yeah, so just increase it in that format. And then let's add another <laughs> another circle then rx90 bring this here tab to go into the edit mode and then let's delete half of the circle and then let's select all of the vertices and then let's extrude it on the y axis like so then scale everything up make it quite big <coughs> let's give it a solidify modifier and let's place it somewhere around here the solidify could be like this and give it bevel modifier as well and then subdivision modifier and let's place this just at the beginning of the stairs and give it now let's give it an array modifier not on this side not on this side either so we need to one and then let's increase the count so we have something like this let's keep it at four because i need the lighting to become 
the lighting will be coming from this side and i think i need a bit of space in between yeah and so at this point let's add our camera and then let's set it up and then we'll start lighting our scene immediately and then we'll start texturing and all of that so shift a let's add an empty first an empty cube and then let's scale it up like so to cover our bottle and also on the x-axis like so And then select this, select this, select this, select this, select the bottle, select the cock, and let's see if everything moves. All right, and then shift select the empty, control P, keep transform. All right, and so I want to keep this somewhere around here. All right, and I think I'm done with that. So let's shift A, let's add our camera. Okay, and let's find a, a perfect view to position camera, I think. Uh, control Alt Zero. And I'm going to keep it at, let's say, 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. And N, and click on view, and then we can choose camera to view. Check the camera to view. Check the camera to view box and then now your view has been set to your camera so you can do this so i want my my is it the focal length or zoom length of the camera to be long so i'll keep it somewhere around here and then i'll click on the camera and then the focal length i'm going to push it in like so and probably push the camera up a little bit and maybe look from the bottom a bit oh should i look from the top yeah looking from the top is not a bad idea mm -hmm. yeah i think this view might be better And so let's choose this view and that means that uh, we need to work on our focal length too the truth is i really wish so let me just i'm going to add another array modifier to this oh no let me just add it yeah like so yeah and uh, i really want this thing to appear in my scene so i want to push it back a little i really wish i could position this such that it would appear okay I, I, I can, I can, it's possible. Alright, somewhere like this. Yeah, this should do. So let's turn this off and see what we have. All right, that's cool. Let's click on our camera. And let's increase our focal length just a little. Okay. So at this point, I can boldly say that we are done with anything involving the modeling aspect. Oof. Wow. 
So you know what? I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a short break. And then when I come back, we are going to continue I'm going to do the lighting and the materials and the unwrapping. And then, and then we are going to add the label. And finally, we are going to render everything out. All right. So I hope you are enjoying the tutorial. If you are, kindly subscribe to the channel. All right. Hit the like button. Turn on the bell notification icon so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. All right. Thank you very, very much for joining me up to this time. All right. I'll catch you in the next session.